name is John Crockett. I'm a chef lecturer here at Cardinville College. Um, my next demonstration video for you is going to be a chicken consomme. Um, one of the best soups, I think, personally, uh, you can ever have on a menu. Uh, again, it's part of the curriculum, so we try to train the classics. And obviously, with a clarification of the process with this, is absolutely amazing. We're going to use chicken today, but you can use beef. And obviously there are many, many ways then of finishing off the consomme, which we'll talk about later on. The main ingredients today for the consomme, obviously, is the, the chicken, which I've diced. We've got some celery, which also has then been sort of diced quite small. We've got some shallots. We've got carrot. And we've got some leek. So these are the main ingredients. And what I'm going to do now is just sort of mince them all together in the thermo for a couple of minutes before we add them then to the chicken stock I currently have on the stove ready then to make the consomme. Um, we also have some Madeira. Madeira is um, also going to give this the lovely flavour and blend in then with the chicken. And hopefully we're going to look for when it clarifies with the egg white. Uh, which I whisk in uh, when all the ingredients go in. That is going to cause a layer uh, at the top, which will take any impurities out of the soup. So the soup on the clarification should be really, really clear, and we're looking for a nice amber colour. So let's start making and blending the ingredients. So I'm going to add some water to the thermal just to help with the ingredients for them to mix through. So in goes my chicken. We've got about 200 grams of each um, vegetable here. And this will make between six and eight portions of the soup. Lovely, okay. So we'll get a little bit more water. I'm just going to process this then. Okay, we'll stop there for a second. Okay, the reason I did that was I didn't want to overburden the thermal. So we can just put the rest in now, making sure I have plenty of space just for the final ingredients. The stock we'll be using for this again, um, I've cooked between uh, four and six hours yesterday and we roasted off some chicken wings, some chicken bones and vegetables again to get that lovely flavour. So we're just intensifying the whole theme of the chicken throughout the dish. Perfect. Okay. So, okay. Okay, we've got our chicken stock here, which we've said we've been reducing down, and this is going to add to the flavour uh, of the final consomme. So we're just going to add all the blended ingredients that we've put in there, the chicken, the onion, and we're going to stir it in quietly. And obviously we don't want this to go to the bottom because we don't want it to catch. So quietly add that in. So this is going to give us an immense amount of flavour from all the, the vegetables, the chicken itself. And then we're going to explain to you then the process of making what we call the raft, which is part of the um, clarification process of this wonderful soup. Okay, so I'm happy now that's all just quietly going to tick over. We're going to let this sort of cook out for an hour or so. Then we've got our egg whites, which we then uh, we need to whisk. I've got six egg whites in here. And we don't want to overwork them. So I'm going to bring this up just to a gentle boil before I add the egg whites onto the, into the mix.
perfect. Again, just checking nothing sticking to the bottom. And then we're going to put the egg whites on. Mix that round. And then that's going to be part of the clarification process where all the impurities from anything in the, in the dishes we had or the stock will a lovely crust will form on the top of here and then we're going to make a small hole so we just can keep an eye on the rolling of the consomme we can see then the, the clarity and everything and also we need just to add a little bit of seasoning at this stage and then we can check it again at the end so a little bit of salt a bit of pepper a little gentle stir And then we're going to leave this set here now for about one hour for all the flavour then to get into that liquid. So we're looking for a like nice clear amber colour. Then we're going to make the garnish next to complement the consomme. So we've now been simmering away gently the consomme. Uh, and as you can see here, the egg whites have coagulated and creating almost like um, a sieve. So as they gently roll in, the consomme liquid through it is actually purifying and taking out any probably unwanted bits we need. What we need to do is gently go into what they call the raft, which is where this egg white now is cooked. We're going to remove that. And now we can see exactly what's going on and the sort of final colour and if you can see just in there we've got a beautiful amber colour uh, just going on here and it really is nicely clarified um, so what we're going to do now is just to finish the consomme off we're going to add 125 millimetres of Madeira to that and we're just going to cook the alcohol out there now for 10 minutes and what we're going to look at now is the actual a garnish to complement this particular consomme. There are 12, some people finish the consomme. This is what sorry, we do here in Wales. I'm going to do what they call printanier, which is a selection of vegetables. And we're actually going to make them into like Parisian balls and, and make it then the garnish for the consomme. Some people use crepes. Um, we can use julienne vegetables. You can take this consomme and garnish it within reason. Uh, anywhere you want to. So the next thing we'll have a look at is how we got these little Parisienne or Solfrino balls. Um, I believe they were after um, a, a famous battle uh, in France and then we've got the red and the white, the white obviously the bandages, these little balls and the red then obviously was for the blood. So these actually resemble cannonballs which I've also then blanched in some boiling salted water just for uh, roughly um, five six minutes so the idea is we can place these balls in I've got a special uh, cutter here right. so we've got the carrot peeled and literally it's a little Parisian cutter and we just push it in to the carrot and then out come this amazing uh, little ball shape which is here then which would look lovely then in through the clarified soup so that's how we got the parisienne shape for that also we've got some nice black truffle we're going to complement the final dish and i also took off the skin of the the chicken that we did the stock with uh, yesterday and i've just roasted that on a sheet and then we're going to complement that on the side so hopefully this dish will be absolutely uh, looks stunning Okay, before we just start plating our soup, we're now going to pass off the consomme. This has been simmering now for the last 10 minutes just for the Madeira to infuse into the liquor. By here, we've got uh, a chinois and on my container and we now got a double muslin just to make sure then as we take the consomme now out of the pan, we try not to disturb the raft and we're just passing this all off which is a beautiful amber color 
we're going to check the flavour, check the seasoning, and then we're going to put this then with the garnish we prepared earlier on. Now, the idea of the garnish is that you can go in to the soup, we can preheat the um, little cannon balls there, or the Parisian balls, or we can place them in there because the soup will be hot enough just to bring the complementary vegetables back up to temperature. So they've been cooked al dente, which is just firm to the bite, and this lovely warm liquid will then warm them up to complement the finished dish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've just taken a portion, what I need now for the consomme to finish out here. So we're just going to come back and then pass that off later on. So I can just put that to one side. I've turned the heat off. Uh, in my other pan here, we're just bringing all the consomme up to boil. Also, I just need to check, obviously, for um, seasoning. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And we're then going to put the consomme into this lovely little teapot here we've got because there's a little bit of theatre then for the customer. So what I need to do is carefully put my consomme into my jug. And then carefully put my consomme into the teapot. To one side. And goes a little lid. Then we take it to then bring the dish together. So we've got a warm soup plate. We've got then our lovely Parisienne or Sofrino bowls. And then we're just going to put the consomme into the bowl. And they say this is hot enough to warm that up. Also then, we're just going to float some black truffle just on the top because that then will complement the chicken and just give a little infusion of another flavour. And last but not least, I roasted some of the uh, skins off yesterday of the chicken and then we've got a nice crispy chicken to complement the final dish and there we have it our version of the um, consomme with the lovely vegetables printanier and beautiful color there amber color and we've got the nice crispy skin to complement that